and, and for that, I apologize. Uh, again, 50 years ago, do you believe that the governor and his campaign handled this the right way? Did they give it too much, uh, I guess, too much life? I think that the Washington Post article was a good article. I think that the focus that has come on it from the media, from uh, MSNBC in particular, has been absurd. And that Romney pushing this aside and attempting to talk about other issues would be the appropriate reaction because this does not matter. One episode that happened 50 years ago nearly does not matter. Tamron, you know we have an 8.1 percent unemployment rate. You know that this president, you know, waged an illegal war in Libya. You know that Romney has so many other problems. I will attack Romney on legitimate grounds. I'll talk about his economic policy being incoherent, but trying to make an issue out of Mitt Romney bullying somebody nearly 50 years ago is ridiculous. And it's a big part of the reason that most of America does not like or trust the mainstream media. Okay, well, to add to your to know list, you should also know that Sean Hannity did a significant portion of his show last night. And he wasn't the only one on that other network. With that said, Jimmy, let me bring you in on this. Obviously, the uh, Romney team feeling the need to get out there and, and discuss this, and it is not because of our primetime coverage that they're doing that. They see that this could be a potential problem for them. Timing aside, and that we are talking so much about same-sex marriage, our first read team points out that it reminds people that he was a privileged kid, which no one is uh, bad-mouthing that, but you have, as you well know, in popular culture, this image of the prep school kid in his jacket with the emblem being, you know, this type of... Uh, <laughs> person that I can't even use the word uh, on television, but there is an image uh, problem here. Look, uh, listen, Romney has two problems with, the, with, this, with this particular uh, incident, if you will. Not because he bullied. Um, let me be clear. Kids bully. Absolutely. I was bullied. I bullied. It happens to every kid. Uh, it's just a fact of growing up. And sometimes people take it too far. Sometimes it's just a plain old a prank. Here's Romney's problem with this. First, it makes him look uh, going to a boarding school that he is indeed out of touch. Set that aside, though. Okay? Which, again, Does he that... went to the school where his parents, I mean, listen, if a lot of people were Absolutely. able to afford to send their kid to a you can't knock him for no the school he attended, it. right? No doubt about it. But that's not my problem with Mitt Romney on this issue. My problem with, with Mitt Romney is that we have a pattern. The pattern here is he can't get his story straight. The pattern here is, is that he can't seem to figure out what his message is on this issue. Every day that Mitt Romney is not talking about the economy and the Obama campaign is talking about this kind of stuff is bad for Mitt Romney. And I've got to be honest with you, he keeps going over and over and over again, repeating dumb stuff. His, uh, you know, Ed Gillespie went on Chuck Todd's show yesterday and said he doesn't remember it. I'm sorry. When you pin a kid down and you cut his hair off, you remember these kinds of things. And then you, I mean, he did the right thing and apologized, but you just can't run around and say you don't remember these kinds of things. It's a poor excuse, and but, it's just a pattern listen, here. But it Jimmy, looks we really don't bad. know. I, I listen. I think I remember most things that I've done in high school and some of the things I probably would deny that I've done in high school. But Tim, to be <laughs> sure, fair, we don't yeah. know if the governor <laughs> right. does not recall. We do know he's apologized. And I guess the heart of it for me, Tim, is not the, the quote unquote hit job as it's been referred to on the right that they are alleging here. It is the response that his campaign and that um, Governor Romney, I would just want to play another incident is, with Colorado. Is... He was in Colorado and a reporter asked him about two hot button issues in that state. And just look at his response. Let me play it, please. One of our viewers, Bill Ferguson, asked, should marijuana be legalized for medical use? Aren't there, issues, aren't there issues of significance that you'd like to talk about? This, the this economy, is a significant the economy, issue in The economy, uh, the, the uh, growth of jobs, the need to put people back to work, the challenges of Iran. We've got enormous issues that we face. Uh, but you want to talk? Go ahead. Do you want medical to talk marijuana. about merit, medical marijuana? I, I think marijuana uh, should not be legal in this country. So there you have it, Tim. And the point is he's doing mm -hmm. local television. That's a local reporter asking about something that is important to the people of that particular state. And his response, it, you know, people are raising an eyebrow about. Okay, well, I'll, I'll talk about the marijuana in one second. But what you're doing here is a, a typical media trick. You hype up a story and then you justify the second day coverage of the story by saying, oh, well, people are talking about it. Here's how Romney responded to it. No, let's move on to substantive issues. You don't have to, to answer a single issues. question I ask you. You did and not, I and think, you didn't have to accept the invitation to come on. You knew what we were going to be discussing. Yes, I'm not and trying I, to put a job part of, and Hang part on, Tim, <laughs> because you're kind of in my house here. The problem is this. The story is out there, and you're right. I am not saying that we should belabor what happened 50 years ago. 
ago. We are talking about the response by the campaign and by the governor, not so just on I'm this issue. To, he so says, you for are example, writing, you are you are bringing up a meta story here, which is what is the uh, Romney response to this other non-story? I'm trying to go meta meta on you and say here's the media treatment. You don't of want me to go Romney anything response. on you because you're actually and irritating me right now. I'm going to be honest with you because <laughs> I'm what I am, you yes, you are I'm because you knew the topics we were going to premise. discuss. You knew them. You yes. agreed, and we are not talking well, or demeaning. Listen, 50 years ago. I was a much tougher kid probably than Mitt Romney was in high school. I'm not talking about the issue of whether he was bullying or not. He says he doesn't remember. To be fair, I cannot say he does. What I'm asking you about is how the campaign has handled this decision, handled this situation, how he handled the Colorado reporter, how he handled same-sex marriage Colorado. where he said he agrees with uh, gay parents being able to adopt. but. He does not agree with same-sex marriage. Just the handling of questions beyond I'm the economy. If you're not substance. comfortable talking about that, I am no, a okay. I will, I will. But you're not going to come on and insult me. You're not going to come on and insult the network when you knew what you were going to talk about. Done. Now let me talk to Jimmy. You, Jimmy, let me. I'm done. Me Jimmy, can, yes, I am. Jimmy, let me go to you. And I say this with all great.